And here we are at the Nintendo World Store. This is a shop I wanted to be at for quite some time. A few years actually and outside it looks pretty amazing. We got Mario popping out of those gifts right there. We got a store sign right there. Look like a two-story building shop to me, so let's go on ahead and let's go on inside. And the inside is pretty crowded, like pretty hard to move around here, but I am going to make the most of it here because, like I said, I wanted to come to this store for quite some time here. Um, let's see, Pokemon Center is over there. Some advertisements for Wii U games. Um, I'm going to go look around a little bit more, so hold on to my hands, Ethan. I have my nephew with me here, so. And right here is some nice collectibles on set here, like coffee mugs, um, energy drinks. Well, technically it's all candy, but the mugs look very collectible here. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna take a look around a little bit more. Because, like, those are the games they have on the shelf for 3DS. I'm going to assume the Wii U games are upstairs. Skylander, right there. Oh, and some Marvel superhero themed 3DS cases right there. Haven't seen, haven't seen those in any stores here, so. Yeah, let's keep on looking around here. And right here we have some Pokemon trading card games in the back. Oh, sorry, in the Pokemon Center. And we have Pokemon themed games here. I think this is the Pokepop games here. Games over there. That you guys, small cards. And some t-shirts and plushies all across here. Tell my friend um, Alarico I'll get him a Pokemon plushie if I'm here, so... But the line is, is, is pretty long, so I may grab it, like, towards the end, but... Yeah, one of these plushies Alarico is gonna be yours. So... Or one of the smaller ones, like... I'll gonna look around for him, see what I can find. Well, hello there, Mr. Pikachu. Are you enjoying yourself here? Looks like you are. <laughs> that's a cute little statue right there. Too bad that's not for sale. And right here we have some displays for Paper Mario sticker stars here. Ooh, looks very nice. And apparently they were part of a diorama contest. So I gotta say, all these look pretty well done. Yeah, I um, like that one in the dumb the most, so congratulations to your winners. You definitely deserve your spot, your, um, spot in this store. And upstairs is even more crazy, and, and I don't know why I started zoomed in so much, but here on the inside, everybody's like in line. For some Wii U demonstrations. We got, I'm not sure, like New Super Mario Brothers, Wii U, Nintendo Land, and such. Where's your sister? Yeah, uh, like, so crowded here, I can't even tell. More motion dice over here. And then we have a little Nintendo museum, so let's get a close look at that. And here is a little museum that really tops the cake for me in this store. Like the only histories of Nintendo from their car making days to to their um, Game Watch series up to their Famicom system. I wasn't expecting a you know a Famicom system to be here, but it is along with a Coleco Vision version of Donkey Kong, the original one. And wow, like, so nostalgic right here. With Rob the Robot, um, the classic Nintendo, and look, Nintendo Power. God bless Nintendo's Power Soul. 
And right here we got more Nintendo goodies, including the gold cartridge version of Legend of Zelda and the um, NES Advantage. Down below we got the Game Boy, the original with Game Boy camera and the Game Boy printer and the Power Glove. So fat, so bad that it found itself into the Nintendo Museum. <laughs> And right here is nothing but Super Nintendo goodness right here. With the original in box, the classic games including Super Mario All-Stars, Mario Paint, the Super Scope, and the Japanese Super Famicom. And down here they're showing off Super Mario RPG off the second model of the Super Nintendo. And here's the Virtual Boy. Yeah, maybe it's dead, but it's a very nostalgic. There are the games and there's motion dice for Super Mario, including stuff from the um, fantastic Super Mario Brothers movies. Yeah, Super Mario Brothers movie, not all that good, but it's a guilty pleasure. Like, and there's the Nintendo 64. <laughs> Up here we got the Game Boy Pocket, and then the Game Boy Color with the limited edition Pikachu Game Boy Colors. And there's Hey You Pikachu with the mic behind it, Pokemon Stadium, N64 box, and an N64 out box. And right here we have the underdog of Nintendo consoles, the GameCube. There's one with the Wayboard attached to it. And right there is actually the entire line of the Game Boy Advance series, from the original to the SP, and even to the um, Game Boy Micro. This didn't sell too royal, but it's nice a little novelty. Right there we have Pokemon Coliseum, the Game Boy Advance SP with the connections to connect it to the GameCube. I got the GameCube with the Game Boy player and the um, e-reader card thingy. Duck Kunga Bongo. Some interesting um, games here with a Luigi Mansion statue. There was a Ray Bird and a Mario statue from Super Mario Sunshine down here. More Game Boys including a Famicom version of the um, Game Boy Advance SP, a Pokemon version of the regular Game Boy Advance, Legend of Zelda version, and a right GameCube controller, which was a Japanese exclusive. Right there we have the Wii. I think we all know about the Wii. There are the DS and the DSi. And we have some DS games right here with one of the railroad ones, the Electroplankton and Tetris DS. And a rebalance board on the bottom. Show for the Nintendo Wii U, 3DS, and a special thank you for reading Nintendo Power. Man, it's sad that magazine had to die. Down below, some more magazines. And the um, and a 3DS thing, so yeah. and let's check out the ones in front real quick. And here is the display stand for Nintendo Power. Wow, it's sad to see this um, legendary magazine die this year. Yeah, bringing back so much memory. And there's the Game Boy. The Game Boy that was damaged and the, the original Pros and Golf World and the Pros and Golf World. I know you can't really see it that well, but man, it took quite a beating. I am quite surprised that it's still playing too. I mean, I know you probably can't see so well, but man, it still works. You definitely need to come to this store and see it for yourself. Okay. Anyway, that's it for the little mini museum they have up here. I'm gonna go see if there's anything left to capture on video before I head out. So, 
catch you guys in a bit. And right here they have a little display for the um Honor Buda cards. The um playing cards that Nintendo originally manufactured before they went into the um gaming industry right here. Um they have different sets for different months of the year and they have sets right here on top of the um Nice little garden in the display cases here. Very nice. Always interested to see histories like this whenever you can. And that's it for my journey inside, inside the um, Nintendo store. I had a little fun, like a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be, but I did have some good time looking inside, looking at all the stuff they have inside. The museum, the little museum they had inside really put the items on the cake. I just got a few items up there that I really wanted to grab. I could have gotten some games too, but you can get games anywhere. But I want to really get something special here from the Nintendo store. Got a couple of plushies, a coffee mug, and even got my friend a Pokemon gift for him. Yes, I know how much he loves Pokemon. I'm not going to say who, but I'm sure he'll be pleasantly surprised about it. So anyways, it is Killatia. Catch you guys next time.